This video will look at modifying the main menu, aka the mega menu in ServiceNow Employee Service Center. So I'm logged into an out of the box employee service center. And on this instance, I have ITSM as well as HRSD. So you can see the HR menu and the IT menu. Uh, and then out of the box, we also get this org chart uh, menu item. So let's say that I don't want the org chart there and I don't want HR to appear. Um, so we're gonna look at how to remove these two items. Um, so in order to do this, we go into the back end and uh, these are all controlled in the taxonomies. So out of the box, there is a taxonomy installed uh, called employee. And employee has IT and HR. And you might be asking yourself, you might be asking yourself two questions. Uh, first of all, why, where is org, um, what is it called, org chart? Yeah, org chart, where's org chart? And secondly, risk and compliance, I see that there, why doesn't that show up in the menu? So to start with risk and compliance, we go in there uh, there aren't any child topics, so it's empty. Uh, that's why that is not appearing. But if there were child doc topics, that would start appearing. Um, on the other hand, the org chart is actually in a different place. So let's just go take a look at that first. Uh, to see this, we can go to the portal configuration for Employee Service Center. Employee Service Center is just another portal. So one way to get to it is uh, we go to portals, the regular portals menu. But if you go to this um, portal configuration under employee center, uh, it will bring you directly to that record. Same thing. This is the same service portal record that the service portal has and any other standard portal and service now. So this is in the employee center core application. Um, so we can just click here for now to temporarily go there and the main menu. Now you recall in a regular service portal or in, I, I, I guess it's not an, a legacy one, but in an older, in the older service portal, the menu items were actually controlled inside of here into this main menu. When you go to that record, uh, the menu items would be down here. And uh, you'll notice for here, this is not the case. So we don't see IT and HR in here, but we do see org chart. So if I don't want org chart to appear anymore, I can just uh, disable that. But I think I have to be in the right scope, which is employee center. Okay, now I can go down here, set org chart to false. Go back here and refresh, and now my org chart is gone. So now I want to get rid of um, HR. Or I should say, I want to get rid of the HR menu item, not get rid of HR. Um, so we go into back to taxonomies and taxonomy is in a different scope employee experience taxonomy it's probably best to keep your so the idea is we're going to clone this into a new taxonomy and assign that new taxonomy to the employee center portal um, while we could clone it into the employee center scope it's probably best to keep things kind of in the scope that they came from so we'll switch our scope to employee experience taxonomy. Okay, and now that I'm in that scope, I will do a clone. And let's just call this employee clone. Now it does take a few seconds to uh, finish the clone because it's it's cloning all, the entire hierarchy of topics. Okay, so that took 20 seconds to run. Um, and now I'm in the clone. 
So now I can go back to, uh, okay, so let's make a change here. Um, and when I was testing this out, I actually deleted HR. But let's just try I, just disabling it. Uh, okay, so I, let's see. Let's just try disabling it. I think that will also work. So I go in here and disable it. Right, so this will cascade to all of the child topics and deactivate those as well. Okay, now let's assign our new taxonomy to the portal. So we go back to the portal configuration record, and now we have to switch back to the employee center core application. And we go into our list here, and I found it's best to uh, remove the existing employee taxonomy, save the record so that there's nothing, then go back in and add uh, employee clone, and then save it. If you try and do that swap at the same time, I was getting um, an error message up here saying that you can only have one taxonomy assigned to a portal at a time. Uh, so we have to do that uh, switcheroo thing. Um, okay, so now we have our clone in here. Let's go back to our employee center and refresh. And indeed, HR is gone. So best probably just deactivate it uh, so that if you want to activate it down the road, it's easier to do. It's already set up. And that is how you make uh, changes to the mega menu, uh, which would could also be called the main menu, I suppose, in uh, ServiceNow Employee Service Center.